so as human beings we have always wondered that what makes us are how our genes are different from those of chimpanzees or lobsters or cockroaches or rabbits or birds we knew certain things uh, before the start of human genome project for example that a child gets part of his dna from mother and father this is a very lovely image where you see father wearing a horizontal striped shirt while mother is wearing vertical vertical pin stripes and the child has a criss cross pattern very adequate you get an haploid genome from your father and from your mother and ultimately uh, a baby is born now there was this huge effort to identify all the genes in 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 your genome so let's look at what a genome is genome is the whole hereditary information of an organism that is encoded in the dna the genome of any given individual is unique mapping the human genome involves sequencing multiple variations of each gene so the effort was ke ek gene ki jitni variations hain ek human population ke andar hum wo identify karne mein kamyab ho jaye um kisi bhi trait ke different sort of genes ho sakte hain kisi individual ke andar agar koi thoda sa fark aa raha hai to hum sari variations capture kar le first particular disease jo identify kiya gaya with regards to uh ke uska humko pata lag jaye ki uska genome se koi relationship tha that was huntington's disease which was mapped to chromosome 4 it was identified in 1983 what happens in huntington's disease is that there are long stretches of cag repeats therefore it's known that it is known as a trinucleotide repeat disease um in brain you have neurons and what happens in huntington disease is that there are neurofibrillary tangles ek protein hoti hai huntington protein uh, jiske sath ye long stretch of cag repeats hote hain it starts to entangle and it is it is accumulated inside the cell body as well as outside the cell body as well और अल्टीमेटली दैट दैट कॉज इज प्रॉब्लम और जो हंटिंगटन डिजीज के पेशेंट होते हैं उनको कोरिया होता है एंड बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द सिम्टम्स द जीन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर डिजीज वॉज फाइनली आइसोलेटेड इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी थ्री सो इट टुक टेन जीयर्स फॉर देम फ्रॉम आइडेंटिफिकेशन टू द आइसोलेशन ऑफ द जीन देर आर पर्टिकुलर डिजीज विच आर वेरी इजी टू मैप टू द जीन होम फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिकल सेल एनीमिया in which what happens that normal hemoglobin is turned into a sickle shape because of a point mutation from adenine to thymine so in this particular image you can see that these are the normal blood cells but when we are talking about sickle cell shaped they are like what you call like if you have seen moon in its early stages so they are moon shaped but what happens is their their oxygen carrying capacity is lowered and therefore patient suffers and diseases like cystic fibrosis where a sodium from a transmembrane regulator a sodium ion channel is affected because of the deletion of codon of phenyl alanine and a huge mucus develops in that particular patient's um, air passages and you can see in this particular picture that thick mucus is blocking the airway and that gives opportunity for various bacterial infections to develop and due to those infections um what happens that patient suffers ultimately this can lead to pancreatitis and other complications uh but it took 10 years to identify those genes so with these human genome project the idea was that we can ultimately we have the whole genome whole map of your body and we can identify that what genes produce what now but in certain cases so these are very like you know these these were very easy cases but there are certain multiple factors for example with regards to cancer 
oncogenes and proto oncogenes it's not as uh, black and white as with uh, with sickle cell anemia or or other single nucleotide polymorphic disorders for example if i am talking about breast cancer then brca1 has huge variations so you cannot say that if you have brca1 it's there is an increased likelihood for you to develop cancers but you have to look at other genes as well and and the type of mutation in brca1 as well so with human genome project the idea was that we could get the whole spectrum uh, in front of us and you can also identify early onset diseases for example in familial diseases you know you all know about alzheimer's disease in which there are similar sort of patches as huntington but it affects memory and there is a memory loss but 13% of the cases of early onset where patient develops this particular disease before the age of 65 are familial in nature so if you have this whole genome in front of you or if you have sequenced that particular person you can tell you can foretell him that you are going to get the disease so in 1990 um a huge consortium was made and the the charter of that consortium was to map all the genes of human genome from physical and functional standpoint they took the the reference genome from 10 to 20 from 10 to 20 patients well i should not say patient from 10 to 20 people taken from numerous anonymous donors across racial and ethnic groups taaki overall kafi sari yani ke population ki representation ho jaye um so for example if japanese have one particular disease a particular gene we might not see uh that sort of gene in in american so basically that was the idea ke aap different ethnic groups se uh, sample leke unko um uh, sequence kare 20 institutes from six different countries china france germany japan uk and usa where usa and uk actually took did the major job but in between this when genome was being published there was when genome was being sequenced there was this huge outcry because people were looking that this particular effort would give them a lot of drug targets um jo khayal tha us waqt ke humko itne zyada diseases ke cause ka pata lag jayega ke ultimately we would be able to cure almost every disease uh, which has which is not infectious obviously क्योंकि उसमें आपको फिर तमाम दुनिया के बैक्टीरिया वायरसेस उनको भी सीक्वेंस करना पड़ेगा सो सेलरा कॉर्पोरेशन वाज फॉर्म्ड बाय क्रेग वेंटर हु वाज आल्सो इन्वॉल्व विद द प्रोजेक्ट एंड ही सेड दैट ही वुड सीक्वेंस द जीनोम फास्टर देन द गवर्नमेंट कंसोर्शियम एंड ही फाइल्ड प्रीलिमिनरी पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन ऑन सिक्स होल और पार्शियल जीन्स लेकिन uh president bill clinton intervened and said that nobody will be able to patent the genome sequence and should be made freely available to all researchers because it was it is beneficial it was in beneficial to all the medical researchers and life scientists across the globe ab isse kya hua ke selra stock plummeted on biotech heavy nasdaq so nasdaq is a stock exchange uh, where most of the biotech stocks trade and basically uh, nasdaq lost around 50 billion dollars in market capitalization in two days and this was the reason jiski wajah se biotech uh, bubble burst hua but but it, but it was good for humanity because kisi ek company ko agar uh, in tamam targets ke upar right mil jata so you can imagine then it then all the drugs would be property of one particular company but we will see that how what were the results of human genome project in, in future topics